Greetings and welcome to Descartes' Rainbow. This is a game that I've known for a very, 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 very long time. It, as you can see, it was released in 2003, um, and I've I've been playing it on and off through the years because it's a lot of fun. So I thought you guys might enjoy it. It's a logic and puzzle game. Uh, you might have already uh, seen the okay let's cancel this you might have already seen this type of game but i have never seen a game this well done because basically it allows you to it has all kinds of options on it so the way you play these kinds of games and this is um the rainbow version this has like different puzzles have different colors in them as you can see from the top, um, and there are others that have just black and white. So we're gonna start, uh, and basically these are clues on the top and on the side telling you how many squares are filled in with which color. And this is a 10 by 10 puzzle, as you can see. And um, basically this says that there are two black squares out of the 10, and those two are together, they're in a group. Now here we have five. So, um, so we still can't put any in because we don't know um, which of the five squares those are. But this one, we have four, three, and two, which ends up being nine total squares. So if we move our mouse over this thing, it says we have one, one square of leeway. So what that means is that we can put in groups of these guys with one square of leeway. So the way I usually do this is count, like the first group is four, so we know three of them for certain. So we say one, two, three, four, and we go back three. So the, the fourth of this group could either be this one or it could be this one. Okay, so let's go and get the next one. Um, so that's four is one, two, three from, oh, oh, I miscounted. Okay, whoops. Uh, and then the two one is gonna be this one. So we don't know any of those from that. This one we do know, there's a single square. So we're gonna just gray out these, that, that's right click. And as you can see, it's a very handy thing. Once you click on the opposite side, it auto fills in the whole thing. So this is gonna give us possibilities. This one is a two, so we can automatically eliminate that because there cannot be two squares in a one square gap. This one also. Um, these are all ones, this is a two, so we can fill, get those. This is a two here, so take it out this. So automatically we are deducting and, and filling in more and more of this as the time goes on. So seven, we um, if we put our mouse over the seven, again we see there are three spaces leeway. So we could even we could count three and go one, two, three, four. So you can see four is the amount we have filled in and it could be three on either side. Now if we look here, we have one, one, and one on these. When you have a, um, two different groups of the same color, that must that means there must be a space of the background color, which is gray. See, the, the gray is up here. I, it's fancy interface. It won't let me mouse over it. Anyway, um, the background color is gray. It's automatically assigned to right click. So I'm going to right click. Uh, oh, whoops. That's not that. Okay. Yes, that could be, and I forgot about this, the one could be over here. So it's warning me. It's not a good example, pardon me. Okay, in any case, here we have a one white square. There's our one white square. So let's get rid of those. Here we have two white squares and no other whites in the uh, clues. So we can get rid of those two and we have a leeway of one over here. Um, this one we don't know. Here we have a six and a one. This is gonna be part of the six. So we can fill this in. We have a leeway of two here. One, two, that's three, four, five, six, and we can go back one uh, so that we can have the six. We don't know where that one is though yet. These clues could fall anywhere along that line. This three can't extend this far and it can't extend this far. So we have two on either side. I hope I'm explaining this okay. Um, I've played this game for many, 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 many years. So, um, I'm very, very used to how it works. All right, so now what can we do? We have to find out here. We have these two things butting up against each other. So this two is going to have a gray space right there. 
and it automatically crosses off the numbers once you have dealt with them. So this has to be three. Okay, so we'll put that there and we'll choose this one. That one has to be four. Okay, so that entire line is now done. Now we can easily go through and um, adjust these guys to clear out some of the spaces. Okay, this is, yeah, we're going good on that. Now this is an interesting case because here we have the white space, so we know where this six is going to be. So we have six down here, let's fill it in. There it is. Uh, we don't know where that one is, but we'll just leave the space there. Now, um, don't know where that is. These have no clue. Those are still up in arms. Okay, so we don't know where those are either. Now this, this one, we know that it has to have a space on either side, so we can fill that in. Same here, and here, aha, look, two ones. So there we go, that row is done. Um, okay, good. So, now this is an interesting one because if you look at the clues, we have two and two. Now we know that there can't be an extra two here, so we can take that one, that square out. Um, and then we know that, okay, here, if we use deduction, we know that we have to have a space between those two. So this has to be two, that has to be a space, and that's a one. So therefore, we also get this uh, column sorted out. Um, now here's interesting, we have a four and a one, but there's only seven, so these must be connected, okay? Get that one out of there. We can increase this guy to make more sense. There we go. Okay, this is furthest to the right, so it has to be one black, white, black. There we go. Oh, and by the way, I'm doing this logically without guessing. That's the whole point of this um, game is not to guess. So <laughs> that's what we're doing here. Uh, here again, one, one, it's all sorted out. Now, what are we gonna do here? These two, they need at least three there. Okay, let's go to this clue. We need three, so that goes that one. We have five and then one, two. Okay, here we need two, then a one white one, and then three. Perfect. Okay, this one needs to be two. Boom! Boom! Meet Mrs. Longlegged Holstein. All right. Hey! Okay, so that was a pretty, pretty easy one. Let's uh, start a new game, but I'm not, I don't want to do one of these easy ones. I'd rather do one of the more interesting ones. Um... The random ones. I like the ones. And these all are free downloads, by the way. Chris Pixton makes really nice puzzles. Let's choose KMP4. I have no idea what this is, so we're just going to figure it out. Okay, so we're, we're working on a grid that is 30 wide and 10 high. What I like to do is just go through and see which have, like, 0 uh, or 1... Here we go, there's a zero right there, so that we can just fill them in without guessing. And that'll give us a really good start on what we're gonna do next. Two, 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 one, 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 three, la di da. Okay. So four of these, and then one of these, and then six of those, and one of these. Okay. All right, so this has a six leeway. We can go 23 minus 6 is 17. So I think we can make this 17 long. Or at least have how many leeways? 6? Well, we need 3 on that side, so 20 on this side. Okay. Which is kind of nice, because then we have all of these guys that we can increase as our happiness allows. So then we have three there. And we know that these are all connected here because there aren't any other red bits. Okay, so we need to count uh, eight squares up. And by the way, I don't know if you can see, but there are like magenta lines and those are squares of five. So this is five 
And how many did it say? Eight. So if we go eight, there's eight leeway. And eight plus 11 is gonna give us our leeway there. Uh, and this one has a four leeway. Okay, so we can go 23, but we can go up to 20 on this, since we already know that end point there. Okay, and then we can also just go down from the top as well. It's another option. Okay, and then we know these are connected. And five to twenty. Oh, whoops. Ah, <laughs> it does warn you. Sometimes I don't pay attention though. It's just kind of like, okay. Okay, so that is that amount of leeway. Another thing that you can do is we know that there is no red below this line. So any of these that have fours, they must be above that line. That's just the way it is. So th anything that's a four has to be there. Okay. We don't know about these guys, where, where their leeway is, but anyway. Okay, cool. Now, we need to figure out the other thing, how to get this going on. Now this one has um, several groups of two. So we know this must be a group of two and they have no other colors between them. Now this is also a group of two, but it has other possibilities of other colors, so we're gonna leave that. This is a group of two, which is between two other blacks, so we're gonna take that out. Uh, in fact, we know that it is this particular two, so we can go all the way like this uh, and go like that, it's because this has to be the other two. Okay. Now, this one, we have a 21 here. So let's just add it. We have a three leeway on this side. So three plus 21, uh, or three uh, taken away from 21 is 18. So we need to go to 18 on this. Okay, cool. And here we have more possibilities. So there's a bit of juggle room here. We know the one here and there's a one black here, so we know there's a white space. Either one, so we can't actually do much about that at the moment, which is just fine. Now here, um, we have a space of, guess what, 11. Uh, and since there's only a leeway of five, that 11 cannot go here. So let's make this the gray space right there. Okay, and this is a three. Perfect. All right, so now we get back to our black. We know we have a one and under it is the black right there. So these guys, all we have left are the reds and we know reds cannot be below this particular line. So we can fill that in with white. Um, yeah, there we go. These can all be filled in. So now we know we can push all of these numbers off to the left. So this is gonna be a two and a space, two again, and a space. This is needs to be 21, there we go. And this is a two, great. So now we got those twos, done. All right, so now we have one, two, one is four, yet yeah, we still have a leeway of two there. So we'll wait on that, okay. Now next, we have to figure out what the heck to do next. This is a two, four. Okay, we can fill in a little bit of this since there's only a one leeway here. Um, so we need a one here. So this one can be filled in for sure. If you're wondering what the music is, it's just simple MIDI sounds. Okay, that is a space. And then we can go with our gray here. Ah, we can. We can go all the way to seven with this gray. There it is, right there. Okay, good. And all of these guys are gonna be spaces. All right, cool. Now this is, okay, we know what that is. It's the three. Okay, very good, very good. And 
And the only thing is we don't know, yeah, we have too much leeway in this particular area there. Okay. Four, and this is a three. Sometimes the key is just finding out where the next clue is going to be. So that's 23. Another thing you can do is these clues here have black as the very last square. So we know that this, this is already filled in, the black is filled in, so then we know that one cannot be in either of those two squares right there. So that's something, <laughs> even if it's not much. <laughs> And this one is, okay, we still can have a one there. All right. Okay, two, so these are fours. Okay, so what we can do is go back here and check out these. These are actually done, a lot of them. This one has a three of black. Okay, cool. So this one has a black, gray, black. There we are. And now we have a six here that we can beautifully fill in. And these again are done, boom. All right, so four, black, gray, black. Oh, okay, we have that actually. I think this is it, black, gray, and black. There is a black and white version of this as well where you use basically deduction of how many spaces and stuff there is. Um, and I can show you that in another video because I really enjoy doing these puzzles. They're just really fun to kind of like chill with, you know? Okay, with this one, we need a, um, a space here because this one is only three long. Okay. do this we can fill in some of these out of four spaces we can have three three and this one we don't know <sighs> okay yep that doesn't help us much over there okay three two up on this guy now. So we need at least a one space and then we can do four there. Okay. Oh, this one only has a leeway of one, which is excellent. So let's go these two to represent that three. Ah, okay. So this is good. We now know we have a space here because there's nothing above that one. Doesn't help us much on these, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Alright, no worries. Okay, I found the deduction that we need to make here. It is the fact that um, the top line cannot start red until here. So there's no way that this gray thing could be in this area. And it doesn't fit in that thing there, so we have to mark that one off. Um, so let's do the three needs to belong right there. We can make this deduction as well. Okay, this is a one. Okay. All right. Similar is this one here. This two cannot be here because the first thing on this is a gray and we need a black. So the two has to be here. Therefore, we need to put the one over here. Take that one off. This 15 can go into 16, or no, I guess not. Oh, that's right, it's 19. No, I should have taken it from the other end. Okay, there we are. Um, okay, great. So, this can be a two. We need to have a space between same colors. So that's that. We need to have two here. Then we have a one. What do we have next? We could have the gray there, so I'm gonna leave that one. But this one needs to be a three and done. Okay, so next thing is um that's two. 
two, one, and we need a gray. So that could be pretty much anywhere. This four could not be vertically, could not be here because there's no more gray bits left. It could be here though. Okay, but okay, we still can't mark this one. I really want to mark it off, but we cannot, alas, do that. Okay, so these could be this two. Okay, we can add this one to there and finish this one off. So this one is now fully 22. Oh, whoops. I didn't, I, I misclicked that, pardon me. Um, okay, so this one cannot be read, this piece from this two, so that one has to be read. These connect together, so we have one space leeway now on that. Uh, all right, so that's that, good. So we have a 2-1 right there, so it's going to be gray-black. Okay, so we have, this is one, and we have that one. Perfect. Done. Okay, we have stuff. Now reds are going to have to be this column, or this these two rows here. So here we have our 19. Do we have the 23? Yes. Boom. Okay. We are moving ahead. So this 15 needs to be extended to be 18 because of the only two spaces here. Uh, one of these actually is a black space. We can extend it one more. This one, okay, and it is the whole way because we have this two over here. Great. So this three, that one is done. Uh, there's one space left that we get our black bit. And there is that one. Okay, so we're just, we have a very little tiny bit left, which is kind of nice. So one of these guys is a black space. It is not this one because we need to start with gray. Now on this one, we need another gray one first. So I think actually that that's that one. So we can just kind of slowly eliminate these spaces. So that one has to be gray as well. So this is the black one. There we are. All right, so this one is a gray there and easily fixed there. Nice. Now we have, so we need a gray and a black to fit in this row here. This one has to be a gray because we have one four and then one again. Good. This one is done. This one we need a gray in here. That also same. Okay, so we have five spaces here. Leeway of one. There we go. This is done. One, two, and one. Okay. Perfect. Boom. We are getting this. All right. So that one has to be a gray one down there. Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, sorry, I misread. This one is the gray one. And this one is black two pieces there. All right. So now we have our gray going here. Boom. Done. A little red sled. And here is the little preview of it. Cute. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Descartes Enigma. Um, please let me know if you enjoyed, if you want me to play more, and um, I'd be happy to do so. Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Have a great day.